feel me? That's who had the sneaker. That's that's predominantly who had the sneaker. If you if you wore feelings in '87, there was a '95. I'm not just saying no number. No, a '95 percent you sold crack, or your mama sold crack, and daddy sold crack, and that's how you got the feelings. To even know about the the brand, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that shoe represent a period of time that might not mean nothing. And now they make them in America, but they was in, they was Italian made Italy. sneak Italy. Yeah. It was it they was made in Italy. Now I'm pretty sure they got the uh, sneaker US. I mean Fila USA or Probably whatever. So. But the first Fila's, Elise, Sergio Tacchini, Lotto, Lotto. I'm missing one right. Oh, Diodora. No doubt. Then no was doubt. sneakers that you had to have some paper to buy because they was only sold in stu in stores from another country, and the only niggas that was buying. Fila's and having beepers and a big ass giant cell phone. The only niggas that was doing that was niggas that sold crack. Didn't so, no nigga had no phone that didn't sell crack. So basically, there was like two or three pair of Fila's in the whole neighborhood. So when you seen a nigga with some Fila's, it was like seeing a dinosaur and shit. Now, what I'm gonna say is my hood is known for being a crack neighborhood. So it wasn't two or three niggas, it was two or three hundred niggas. Every nigga that sold dope was trying to get a pair of feelers and have a Turkish rope on, you feel me? It was under my, I was younger than that, you know what I'm saying? I was I was, I was, was so young to where, nigga, the first pair of feelers I had was some girl ones. Cause they, right. that my foot wasn't big enough to fit down, <laughs> I had to get some girl ones. Right. But I fucked the whole school up. In the right. And it was me and another nigga that had a pair of feelers. Right. I ain't gonna say the homie the name. Girl, the girl, when you, when a guy's sh uh, foot is small enough to wear a girl's sneakers, you could take advantage of all the wild color schemes and uh, shit. Well, it's been a long time, but I, I imagine right now a little nigga can get it off. You know right. what I'm saying? Get it off. But shit, man, feelers was so special, homie, and it meant a lot to the era, homie. And it was, it was, it, was, it, it bring back memories. And niggas flip when they see me in them old feelers, because I know where to get them now. I know how to get them offline and no the Lord sweatsuits and all no that shit. Fucking I doubt. would get y'all that game, but come on, then, then, then I wouldn't be Mitchie Slick. Then I'd be just like you, right? Because I know someone right in L.A. They got the shit, <laughs> right in L.A. It's right up under niggas' noses, right. I appreciate your time, man. It's Respect. been informative, man. This is Gully TV, Los Angeles. You've been a great guest. We out here in San Diego yeah, putting that. in this work. And I appreciate you, my nigga. Go ahead and uh, drop out from Gully TV. Hey, shout out, man. It's your boy Slick right here. I'm with the homie G from Gully TV. It don't stop, you know what I'm saying? When you're in Cali, tap in or then, or you might be on your own. But if you want to be good, holla at Slick, though. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Wrong kind of records. <laughs>